Pray with you. If you have the Bible, look at the Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 to 20, about the Great Commission, which is the Great Commandment. Amen. You know, Great Commandment means it's like the, the will of uh, Jesus before he died. Before, no, no, before he died, before he go to heaven. Matthew chapter 28, verse 16 to 20. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, and but some doubt. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of age. This scripture is the most important scripture for all Christians. Why? Because of a great commandment, great commission. And this morning we'll go to Frankfurt, Germany. <laughs> Five of us. And then we thanks be to God. Do you know what Jesus say? All authority in heaven and on earth has given to me. Do you have all authority? Yeah? Because Jesus lives inside of you. Do you have you have the authority and power? Not from you, from Jesus actually. It's nothing to do with, with us, only Jesus. You know, we are just an instrument uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ, instrument of gospel. Therefore, <clears throat> when you have the authority and power, yeah, therefore means a conclusion. Therefore means you have to do it. You can see the four words, go and make disciples and baptize them and teach them. Four, four words, go, make disciples and baptize them and teach them. And the one more thing, the promise, I'll be with you in verse 20. Did you understand? Five things you can remember today. Go, <coughs> go where? All of the world, all of the world. Same thing is uh, Mark chapter 16, go into all the nation. You can read the. Uh, uh, you know, Mark, he write down the, how Jesus is uh, preaching. Uh, Mark chapter 16, verse 15, say, <clears throat> same thing, but uh, you can see the Mark chapter 16, verse 15, he say, Jesus said to the disciples, go into all the world and preach the good news to all what? All creation, all creations, including the human being, <laughs> everything, everything. <clears throat> trees and cows, <laughs> but uh, go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation, all creation, all creation, yeah, preach to the whole creation, go uh, into all the world, yeah, and then this is number one, uh, our preparation, actually go make disciples and baptize them and teaching them all these four verses for only one purpose, for what, for make disciples actually, go, where? To make disciples, make disciples, teaching them for what? Make disciples, baptize them for what? Make disciples. <laughs> yeah. How many of you receive the water baptism in our church? Yeah, yeah. Do you know our church is uh, baptizing is uh, of course important, but our final goal is to make disciples of Lord Jesus. Some people receive water baptism. Where are they? They go back to the world again. Do you understand? Water baptism is powerful. It's a <coughs> baptism of repentance. But they need to be a disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. They don't need to be my disciples. Nothing to do with this man Paul saw. Disciples of Lord Jesus. Do you understand? Make a disciples. Go for what? I'll go to, you know, five of us go to Frankfurt this morning. Yeah? For what? To make a disciples of these Germans. Germans need to preach the gospel. Do you understand? Yeah, make disciples. And then this number one, go and make a go. Number one action is go. And make disciples, all nations. Make disciples. We have to, do you know, become a disciples of Lord Jesus Christ. Do you, do you understand? Every one of you, including me, you know, become a disciples of Lord Jesus. It's so important. Do you understand? You are not just the <coughs> ordinary man and woman, no. Become a disciples of Lord Jesus. I want to see about the disciples of what, what is their duty. 
what is their, 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 their job. And then and make good uh, disciples of all nations. You know, I'm a missionary from South Korea. I live in UK for what? To make disciples. Yeah? Make disciples of all nations. In all nations from Africa, Europe, England, Wales, <coughs> everywhere. You know, over 20 nationalities in our church. But what I my job? I don't come here to UK to make money. I don't come here to waste my life. No, I come here <coughs> to make disciples. How about you? You make disciples. You are a missionary from India. Do you know that? To make disciples. Make disciples. Yeah? You are English, yeah? To what? To make disciples. Yeah? This is your job now. Every one of you, yeah? your job is to make another disciples of the Lord Jesus. Can you say amen? Yeah? Amen. Yeah? You are a fish of man. And to make disciples. And look. And then baptize them in the name of Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Of course, baptism of the Holy Spirit is so important. Baptism of the water is important, but more important is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You're going to receive water baptism next, um, next month, yeah? Be, be, be prepared. You, you, baptism, water baptism means uh, funeral service for your old self. Amen? We have buried your old self in the water. When you raise up from the water, you are a new creation. Yeah? You are a new creation. And make disciples. <clears throat> all nations and baptize them in the name of Father and Son and Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. Teaching is very important. Teaching. I saw the blanket and then without the cover and just uh, using it uh, by two belt is not good. Do you understand? I already told him. And do something help, help them. Yeah? Do you understand? These are so simple things. My people are perished because lack of what? Knowledge. When I was in Africa, my pastor's wife washed my my <laughs> leather shoes, and then over oh, forty-five degrees, so strong, shy, shy, hot. And you watch when I come back to home, <coughs> pastor's house, my shoes is a uh, swing, and they become small size. <laughs> I cannot use it. Why? Because water go inside the leather. I told her, uh, uh, sister, you can shine in the, my shoes, not washing the the, the shoes by water. She never knew. My people are perished because of what? Lack of knowledge. Do you understand? You need to know, brother. Yeah? Yeah? Cover the two bed and then pillow cover all these things. This is a proper way. You are no more homeless. Yeah? Until yesterday you were homeless. But from now on, you have to live. Yeah? Not any homeless life. You have to live properly. Amen? Yeah, this is not only for you, for everybody. Every one of you. Teaching them. This is a simple thing. Teaching them. The way of God, teaching them the heart of God, teaching them the character of God, teaching them the will of Father in heaven, teaching them how to pray, teaching them how to live in this world. Do you understand? It's so important. That is why teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. When you learn, if you don't obey, nothing happens. Can I say again? When you learn, yeah, you learn, yeah, you learn. And then you don't obey, nothing happened. I banned another lady yesterday, she was drunk, and then no more allow for her. No more, please, it's terrible. This is not for her playground. Shouting, drinking, and eating in the kitchen, throw away the food, I don't allow in the house of the law. Do you understand? If she, you know, she used to be a <coughs> our member, and she said, Pastor Paul, I don't want to come to your church. I go somewhere, another church. It's up to you. When she go to another church, what happened? Terrible. She become alcoholic. She never be alcoholic like that. And she, of course, is, you know, smoking whatever. But not terrible like this. This condition. Do you understand? People they don't like to learn. People they don't like to obey what the Bible say. Do you understand? They have ear. You can speak anything, and I don't want to you know, obey. That kind of attitude. Their life is ruined. Their life never transformed. I speak to you, brother. Hello? For you, brother. Listen and obey. Why I went to the, your home in Bulgaria? Why? Obey, brother. 
If you don't obey, you never transform. You go back to the street again, to be homeless again. Do you understand? I know, I know. You become a drug addict again. But in Jesus' name, you start a new life in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Obey. Trust and obey. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Repent your sins. Turn away from the wicked way. <clears throat> Teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. Do you understand? Go. Make a disciples. Baptize them. Teaching them. Four. And the promise. If you do it, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. <clears throat> Emmanuel, God be with you. Amen. Amen. God be with you. Yeah. Everything is for become a disciples of Lord Jesus. You should become a proper disciples of Lord Jesus. I met a hundred, a thousand Christians, but not very effective. Why? Just ordinary, normal, nominal Christian. They are not true disciples. I'm here to serve you, to correct you, train in you, rebuke you, to supporting for you, to teaching you. For what? To become a disciple of Lord Jesus. Do you understand? I don't know how long I... <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I know. I don't know how long I stay in this world. If God called me today, praise God, I'll be with Him in heaven. For me to live is Christ, to die is gain. But what is my job? To make disciples. Make disciples. Can you say go? Make disciples. Baptize them. And teach them. To obey. Teach and obey. And then God promised Jesus, for I'll be with you all the days of your life to the very end of the age. And then look at the John chapter 15. John chapter 15. This is the, the duty of true disciples. If you are disciples, yeah, I can see these things. John chapter 15, verse 1 to 8. John chapter 15, verse 1 to 8. I am the true vine, and my father is a gardener. He cut of every branch in me bear no fruit. While every branch that doesn't bear fruit, he prunes, he, so he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. Do you understand? When God, God is gardener, when God prunes the branches, if the branch is no fruit, prune, cut, cut. Do you understand? It's very important. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit itself. It must remain in vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. Jesus, I am the vine. You are the branches. If you don't remain in me, <coughs> you are nothing. You cannot bear anything. Verse 5, I am the vine. You are the branches. If a man remain in me, I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. You can do nothing if you depart from Jesus. And verse 6, If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers, and such branches are picked up and thrown into the fire and burned. Terrible. Burned. If you remain in me, and my word remain in you. Listen carefully. If you remain in Jesus and his word remains in you, yeah, ask whatever you wish, it will be given to you. And verse 8, this is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be a my what? Disciple, you see. If you bear much fruit, you are my true disciples. Show me your fruit, my brothers and sisters. I saw the fruit into your life, brother. Well done. I saw that. I saw that not only just clean and then be, I saw that. You prove I saw that. Yeah? I don't try to please you by telling the truth. I see, actually. I see how you live in, the, in our community. Show me the fruit. Jesus, I don't know who you are, but I know who you are through the fruit. Good tree bear the good fruit. Show me the good fruit. And then, Jesus, I know who you are. Do you understand? <coughs> yeah. You are a servant of the Lord. Please bear the much fruit, and you are a true disciple of Lord Jesus Christ. Go into all the world make disciples and baptize them in the name of Father and Son and Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything as I commanded you. And I'll be with you to the very end of the age. 
what Jesus said. This is a great commission, great commitment. It's like his will. Yeah, his will. Remember, you know, before somebody died, yeah, and then give the final will, please remember. You have to do it. Obey. How many of you, how many of you want to be a true disciple of Lord Jesus? Can you stand up? If you want to be true disciples of Lord Jesus, can you lift up a holy hand? Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for my dear brothers and sisters right now. <coughs> Would you touch them, bless them, encourage them, strengthen them? Go into all the world, make disciples, and baptize them in the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit, and teach them to obey everything what I commanded. And then surely I'll be with you to the very end of age. Thank you, Jesus. You promised with us. We remember your message. You remember your great commission. And we'll obey. Father, help us to become a true disciple of Lord Jesus. When you bear the much fruit, and then there's a Father's glory, and, and you called us my disciples. Lord Jesus, you are our shepherd. You are our, your sheep. Lord, help us, make us uh, uh, to be a true disciples of Lord Jesus. Wherever we go, we bear the much fruit. Today, five people go to Frankfurt in Germany. We preach the gospel and make disciples in three days. Lord, help us. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Keep on praying for our mission to Germany from today to Wednesday. And then, yeah, I think Brother John did us the... the Pray meeting also for outreach together. Okay, thank you. God bless you.